over to Markus Ferber, please. Vielen Dank, Frau Vorsitzende, Herr Kommissar. Thank you very much, President, Commissioner, colleagues. Let me start by thanking the left side of the House that we are dealing with deterioration of living conditions in the EU. I think this is a good opportunity to talk about what is the uh, basis, why economic growth is so bad in uh, Europe. I think uh, those who asked this, uh, asked for this debate are actually largely responsible for that. We have uh, seen that Europe's standard in international rankings when it comes to competitiveness has continued to sink in recent years. And there are a number of reasons for this. It's not just because we're in a difficult geopolitical uh, situation. We have high levels of tax, high levels of bureaucracy, energy levels, uh, prices are exorbitant. We're seeing more investment go outside Europe. So all of this undermines the competitiveness of our industry and, of course, our prosperity as well. We're not seeing um, our industry and our economy uh, growing and we are seeing due to demographic changes that there are more and more social security, um, there is more social security spending that is necessary. The Commission, as well as Parliament and Council, needs to think about how we can ensure more competitiveness and growth. So just a few points. We need to move away from excessive legislation and uh, micromanagement, not uh, uh, always new uh, reporting um reducing bureaucracy and red tape, consolidating our legislation, moving away from a, a green policy that's bad for our economy. We want to be able to um, work together on creating this uh, green transition. We want to have investments that lead to strategic growth and uh, productivity. That would put us on the right path and we wouldn't have to have any more such debates. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, on behalf of the group of the Socialists and Democrats, uh, Agnes Jongerius.